So today, guys, we will harvest our garlic. Yeah, are you having trouble there? Weston, what day is it today? Today is a day. Huh? Today is garlic harvesting day. Can you say garlic harvesting day? Yeah. And then go woo. I'll go woo. <laughs> Not we. So we? how you know that garlic is ready to harvest is it will have three to five remaining green leaves. There really isn't any remaining green leaves. We could have harvested this garlic last week, but we got some heavy rains and we got busy, so now we're harvesting it a little late. To harvest it, you just stick your spade down spade. and just real gently lift and pull the garlic. Watch we don't want mystery. to damage we have a garlic here. the bulb. Ooh, look at that! Oh my goodness! You want to treat so the bulb big. like an apple. Oh, we have garlic wisdom. Ideally, you'd like to have the soil a little drier, but we had to harvest garlic today, so this is it. That's a nice big, big bulb. That's what you want. See, the roots are so muddy, that's why it's hard to pull them. So do we need to clean the roots? Yeah, you, you just try to get as much dirt uh, off like I this. Mean, do we need to cut them when we cure them? Yeah, or you can. Or will just stay like that? You can cut them, yes. So beautiful, garlic. What kind of creature has been burrowing next to them? Just hold it. Don't throw it, okay? Beautiful bulbs. Oh, they're big, right? Yeah. Yeah, they talk about that. Sometimes you just don't. Our soil has been pretty moist. And then, then. Right. So here is our harvest, the garlic. Okay, we have our two varieties that have been harvested. We have a purple variety and a white variety. And now we're going to clean them up for curing and storage. How we do that is we take the garlic, kind of get most of the dirt or all of the dirt as possible, kind of off the root. And we're going to cut back the root. Yes. And we're going to keep working that dirt out. We're going to get most of the dirt out as much as possible because when it's drying, Michael. you don't want that extra moisture creating mold on our garlic. Because it's going to cure for two oh, to three weeks. And that's how it Mata. will Careful maximize its flavor. You will fall, don't do that. It's good to eat right now, but it's even better and more flavor if you cure it properly for two weeks. That brings out even a stronger, pungent, more pungent flavor of the curing process. Then kind of just lightly get that as much dirt off the bulb as you can. And now we're going to start peeling back the two lower leaves. You will fall there, Wes, and stuff. Be careful. Mm. 
Let me get that nice clean green stock. Michael. Is that Michael or Paulo? I don't remember. Michael! <laughs> Michael! Michael! It's Michael. Michael! 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 This part's a little tedious because you have to get that top shell off. Get that nice clean. And that's what you said. One nice clean bulb. And then the last step is to cut about six to nine inches remaining of the stem. And then they go in the box. Okay, this is uh, how they're prepared for their final cure. They will stay in this box. We've cut vents in the side so airflow can easily get through to all of them. And we'll put a fan on them. They'll go into a dark room, around 70 degrees, constant fan on them for until uh, they dry out, but not completely dry out. We ended up with 35 total bulbs, 20 of the white and 15 purple. And for those who don't know, purple are spicier garlic. But if you get a purple variety, they're spicier. Yes, this one's purple too. After three weeks of curing them, here they are.